Okay, um, basically what we have now is um, we're going to try to get the LG rumor, if I can basically get it on. And we're going to try to hack it through the uh, through the USB cable. Now, um, you do actually need uh, a USB cable. I got this off eBay and uh, pretty cheaply, so you guys can get it off eBay too. Um, before I found out uh, about the about the unlock code for USB, again I have um, Virgin Mobile for uh, Canada, so that is the unlock code f for USB mode, so basically you can detect it under other CDMA phone. Um, the reason why that's important is because without that unlock code you actually can't connect to it even if you have the proper drivers. You do need proper drivers, USB drivers for this phone to connect on to it. Um, so here's the program we're going to use. It's called BitPim. Other like I'll show you what happens when you don't actually have that. This is what I was doing before and uh, see here I'm gonna go into settings and it's and you go into phone wizard basically and give me a little moment here what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna set it to LG 8600 which is actually uh, a compatible phone in that okay now we'll plug her in into the and uh, just to warn you, that will tell you that the USB is now plugged in. Uh, what the it will it will ask you to put mass storage or print. Don't press anything in this case because we actually want to access the file files on there. Now I'm going to go into auto. Sorry, auto. It, so we'll try to detect it automatically. And this is we're in the port here. Watch what happens to the phone though when I try to detect it. So here it's obviously for the LG VX eighty six hundred. So here my screen is basically turning sideways and everything. It will beep 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 and uh <laughs> as you can see my screen is turning sideways but my keypad is not open. Um, the weird thing is, is that you will actually be able to get the file system this way. Um, so here we are under file system and we try to expand that. It will actually work. But the problem is, is every time it actually tries to do anything with the phone, including writing files and stuff like that, it will just drive the phone crazy. So... <laughs> again it's so here it's got the file system but if you look at the phone it's doing that same do, 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 do. you can do it this way but it's kinda dangerous especially because we're actually gonna get into the phone policies and everything <coughs> sorry and uh... you don't want to you know because it's busy doing its beep 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 and not actually writing the file you want it to um... so what we're actually going to do is we're going to disconnect the cable. Uh, it's going to say it's disconnected, whatever. We're going to go into settings again. And uh, we're actually going to tell it to detect other phones. So I'm going to phone wizard again. All, all, and other, other CDMA phones. And I know my camera is horrible, so do bear with me. Now, your screen's going to be messed up. Uh, just open it and close it. It usually resets it. Now, we're going to look at uh, basically the code to unlock USB mode. And in this case, it's 373 mm, 39. 